Wait, one second, man. Sure, I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Hopefully, you are all doing okay today and stay safe. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Sorry, I need to take a little breather there. But hopefully, you are all doing okay today and stay safe. And hello and welcome back to some Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. So, well, last episode, what, what did we do, do last episode? Hmm. Ah, yes, we finally got Emmerich. Finally. And he's still as bad as ever. <laughs> and he will remain that for the rest of his life, I tell you. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna jump right back into it, I tell you. I am actually planning on doing some side quests today, but I'm not too sure, I tell you. I'm not too sure. But I'm definitely going to catch a shower before. Boss, there's no doubt about it. Self is working on something in Central Africa. The D dog. The dog is coming in contact with private forces operating in the region. We follow that. Oh, D dog. We should learn what Cypher is after. Good dog. Diamond Dogs has gotten a lot bigger. Now well, is the time to take the offensive. Miller, could you repeat what you just said? ACC for your next mission. Eh. Uh. Yes, I heard every single word that you said there, my good friend, Miller. <laughs> uh. a project. You know what? I remember actually trying the Uragan when I actually, uh, what do you call it, played this the first time that I played this. As I tried to unlock everything available. That was quite expensive. Uh, let's see. You know what? We should actually try and... Uh, No, I'm actually thinking about that. I'm actually thinking about that because I feel like that could be very useful. A scoped version of the other thing, yeah, that'd be quite useful. And I think that'd be what I need to research for now. We'll call in the helicopter. Helicopter, come pick me up. Roger. Did you just say something bad? Take that. No, you didn't say anything bad, okay. I'd just like to be up my... Uh, my troop. Hey! Capel! We didn't expect that, Terry. Okay! You don't have to say it so aggressively. You can say that you're inbound on LZ. You're about to arrive at LZ. You're at the LZ. I just want to do some side ops, I tell you. Stun arm blueprint? That's what we were supposed to get, but it turned out it was a side quest. Ah. Okay. I thought that was actually, you know, something that we could get at the time. Hmm. I think if we're doing the missions, I'm starting with the Serac power plant. Working my way around, I tell you. Working my way around. I think that's what we'll do. Seems like the most effective, I tell you. So we'll just work our way around back from the Serac power plant after we get a stun arm. Yes, yes. Boss, I've been meaning to tell you something. Our old friend Zero hasn't been seen in public since you left the States. That was over ten years ago now. You suspected he was responsible for the accident at your base in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. But at that point, Zero was already bedridden. So it never felt right to me that Zero gave the order. Now that I've seen the man Emmerich was working for, yeah, I'm sure see. he didn't. I know that man. He was our old friend's XO. A man without a face. Not one you want to look at, anyway. Skullface. Yeah, Skullface. He's the one who destroyed your base nine years ago. The unit he commands, XOF, was Cypher's strike force. But he's since split from Zero and used XOF to usurp control over Cypher itself. Yeah, yeah. In other words, the Cypher we're hunting isn't Zero. Beyond Zero is a void that's even darker. Ah, okay. Skullface. Okay. I'm actually going to bring a rocket launcher with me because we do have to take out armored uh, soldiers soon. Uh, double check I have everything. Yeah, 
Eh, not too bad. Let's hop right into it, man. Let's hop right into it. So I guess we'll just start with the getting that highly skilled soldier. And then we'll just work our way back around to the power plant. I'll probably just sneak through the power plant. I don't really feel like, you know, confronting. So I normally only confront when I'm spotted. Onwards, I tell you, onwards. How you doing, D-Dog? How you doing? You doing good? You look very cute today. We love, you know, suits. They even made sure that you can pee. I hate when games do, you know, don't do that because uh, it means that they just pee on their uniform. And that causes infections for the dog, huh? But no, they don't care sometimes. You know, you see all these vehicles just laying around. And I've always wanted in Metal Gear Solid 5 to see other types of vehicles, like civilians and all that. Maybe some civilians are better than other civilians, eh? Be careful down there, boss. Or they just, you know, would not interact with you too much. Marker placed. Look at I had the jeep. I was just about to run around the entire map. Come on, D-Dog. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Hey. It's a sniper. The map has been updated. You know, this was kind of just a trash situation now, I tell you. Should have just, you know, checkpointed. I don't know why I took three shots for that. Yeah, this is a sniper one. Boss, get down. The enemy sniper. Stay low and Just get rid of that guy down there.
object on board. Leave the rest to us. It's just getting very close. I don't really have to care about rank around. He's coming too. Roger that. And move it. I'm getting short. So there's no tomorrow around here. Okay. That was absolutely terrible, I tell you. I'm just gonna call in the supply draw. We're closer to the actual power plant. Yeah, just there. I knew it was gonna be a sniper because I remember this kind of mission area. You're a C fan, I'll take you. I'll take him. He's coming too. Roger that. Let's go make it to our supply drop. We got 15 rounds out of a couple hundred rounds, and that's I've I've got shotgun quite badly. You know, I take one shower, and then I'm instantly, you know, fully covered again. What's the best road for this? That road? Okay. Doesn't expect to be going over a hell there. Really? Let's get to that road as fast as possible then. So we can just follow the road. <laughs> uh. Onwards, D Dog, onwards. This is the right road. Just keep following the road. I am so, you know, singing if I look at this road. I'm not too sure if I'm following the road sometimes, and then, you know, I am following the road, but the edges is what you know, I'm looking for, but then I can't see it sometimes. I like how the supply drops always see on stage my there. Oh, I remember this bit. This is the hill that I just had so much trouble with. Actually, I think this is where the final boss fight ha happens. Is it? Oh, I took out this. I was wondering what that fart noise was. But there's a little spot, and I tell you, this is the spot that I use for this boss fight. And I will be using the same spot. I might as well show you the spot. So you come down here, right? 
And I accidentally fell off the cliff one time. And it's this, uh... That spot right down there. That is the spot that you need. Because you can get supply drops. They, they break on this bit here. And then they come down here. And that'd be your thing to fight the enemy that's going to be over here. Sometimes the enemy goes all the way up here and then yeah, you have to fight them there. A tiny bit. Or have to wait for them to come down. Very annoying I tell you, very annoying. But that's how I did that boss fight back in 2017? 2018? 2017, somewhere around that time. I played it on uh, Xbox Original. Original, not Xbox Original. Xbox One, that's what I meant to say. I don't think this game would uh, work very well on Xbox yeah, Original. That would be cool to see, yeah. An Xbox original kind of style Metal Gear Solid game, eh? Well, Metal Gear Solid 5 game. That would be cool, I tell you. Maybe one day one of you to make it. To the mod or something. Or, uh, what to call it? What was it that I was going to say? I don't remember now. But that's where I normally take that boss fight on. I do like to just, you know, fight all around with the boss fight, but then that boss fight is, uh, I just like to save the spot. I really got here at the right time, I tell you. Or maybe the wrong time, who knows. Well, we're sneaking through this, I tell you. So we're going to have to be very sneaky. We're not even in the front gate yet. And I'm already starting to be sneaky. I keep hiccuping with all the ice. Can't climb any of that. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more uh, cliff climbing in this game, I tell you. I feel like they would have done something like, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn, where there's a lot of climbing everywhere. Like, you know, use the Afghanistan wildlands to your, you know, advantage. That's what I would use, huh? There's a whole movie saying, you know, you know, why tanks are not as good for the, you know, lands of uh, Afghanistan and why it's better to have, uh, what you call it, why it's better to have horses and light, you know, armored vehicles in uh, Afghanistan. Because it's that bad for, uh, what's it called? Mobility. Remember, kids, do not wander into any place looking like this, I tell you. Terrible, terrible. I remember all the adverts back in the day. There was one uh, that the kid uh, went in to grab the ball. They died. And then the other kid went in to get them. And they accidentally touched one of the thingies. And they died. They both died. It was so sad. Yo! Yo, yo! Just knock him out normally. Hey, Doggo, you're good, Doggo. Enemy detected. Should be right there. There it is. You gotta extract I wish these were more scattered around the map randomly. List updated. That's what I would wish, huh? Instead of just that uh, being determined every single time updated. in the same spot, that it would be, you know, more. You could pick. Well, not you could pick, but you could, like, you know, find these random, you know, blueprints that, you know, might be useful to you or it might not be. I feel like that would have been a lot more fun for this game. Sorry. I wanted to be a game developer back in the day. So I would always, you know, nitpick on stuff like this. Like, yeah. 
this could have been a lot better. Yeah. Because I really hate that it's always in the same spot. Like that's the same spot that's always spawning in. I wish it was more like, you know, oh it's actually in that building over there, or that building there. Or you can find it in, you know, let's see, on that roof up there where a colonel or a high ranking soldier is actually, you know, smoking a cigar or something like that. Stuff like that. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what vibes it gives me. Like feelings. It kinda reminds me of Hitman then, for some reason. I don't know why. It kinda reminds me of Hitman. I don't know why I think that. Maybe it's all the little scenarios in Hitman eh? That's it, probably. It's all the little scenarios that build up to, you know, how many, you know, different ways you can actually do a mission. Something like that. I guess it doesn't really. I guess it would matter if I went this way. This this was a bit better. Well, oh, there we go. I really want a Mac now, so I might uh, get that for myself in a little while. So we'll get ourselves a Mac. Not the laptop, but the weapon, the Mac. We. I tell you, I love the jankiness of vehicles like this. Oh, I want to tell a story. So, when I wanted to be a game developer, I designed a game that revolved around a jeep that you would, uh, let me pull over to the side of the road. So this game you would, if you wanted to unlock like special things or go down different routes of, uh, you know, enemies, well not enemies, I looked at the enemies in the distance there. You would get multiple people that you could do quest lines for, and it would uh, allow you to do like you know, oh you want to set up like bear traps or something. It was like a hunting game, but it was also like you know a preservation game that you could also preserve the animal, like you know, like what we do in a uh, what's call it Metal Gear Solid Five. We take animals from war zones, kind of like that. But the whole thing would revolve around the jeep. It sounds strange, but the jeep would be, you would have to pick what you're going to fuel, like all the, you know, stuff, you would put how much fuel you're going to need, how far you're traveling, like mark it out on the map, and you would pick what you're bringing with you, like, you know, you want to bring a bear trap, how much weight is got to be on the vehicle, all of that. I'm not going to tell you all of it, because, you know, it's still a good idea, but uh, I had like, oh, it's a whole list. But that's just a tiny little bit of the, you know, idea, I tell you. It was a brilliant idea, I tell you. I always enjoyed, like, hunting games, but I would always love, you know, games that you'd actually preserve the animal. I quite enjoy those ones, I tell you. Oh, wait, that's where I was just at before. Yeah, this is that area. Uh, that's where I shot the sniper there on the left. Oh, that's hilarious, I tell you. Found weapon. Ah yes, good doggo. You found the sniper rifle that I shot out of the sniper's hand. Please uh, a drop point. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I'm not even controlling the vehicle and it's just sending me you know, a random direction. Eliminate armor. I was getting a SMG to take on a... Oh. Wait, is this actually in a... No, it's not in this area. You can get one that's here and it's so tough because uh, the tanks and all that are in uh, that area up ahead that you see. That area there. Or over there. Oh, it's terrible this bit here. It's great for if you're a sniper, right? And you're taking out like a small patrol, but... It's terrible when you're going up against tanks because you have to plan out, you know. I would say sleep grenades and all that are the best thing for this bit of the mission. You know, there's a side quest here. Bring sleep grenades for the armor patrol here. I knew it. I knew you were running out. It's just like, you know, the open fields in Scotland. The open, uh, free roam, that's it. Free roam, you know, sheep and all that. Those ones, I tell you. They always try and get in front of your vehicle. Ow. 
You know, I do wonder if you got realistic damage on this thing. How would it look? Like venting in the side of the vehicle. Maybe if you damage the right seat enough, you can't use uh but your companion has to catch up to you. Something like that. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. I was about to say, this Analysis is a special complete. forces of the Soviet army. Well, these three are. These two aren't. Well, I'll have to get that mat in a second. Place it right there. Hoping that the armored patrol doesn't hear this. There we go. So I had a bear there for a second. Good doggo. Good doggo. You know, it would be great if you could uh, cancel like a drop in this game. I really hate that it's you know, mandatory, you can't, you know, cancel like a bombardment or something like that. Oh wait. Extraction. He's coming too. Roger that. There we go. Grab that, grab that. They really don't want to come with me. Don't worry, you'll extract him. You'll grow on me. Or you you grow. I I'll grow on you. That's it. I'll grow on you. <laughs> but it says it's an armored Vehicle, yeah, it is armor vehicle. Extraction I was not too sure if it was armor vehicle or not armor vehicle. I do want to actually uh, develop something, and that is a upgraded version of the map. Please specify a project. We got Mac 37, but I can't get the Mac thing until much higher. I need this actual blueprint. I thought it would be better to have it, you know, just in case. But it looks like that is not the case. Guess I might as well try and see if we have an upgrade available. Eh, might as well. That costs so much. No wonder I went broken. I forgot my vehicle. Wait, wait. What? Where's my where's my gun? Oh, it's my secondary. I saw it's gotta be a main weapon. Poop. I really wish that you could carry like two sidearms or something. Analysis 
We have to be very, you know, stealthy here, I tell you. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. I was trying to preserve the guy. Oops, there's two more. Is there a sniper unit around here? I don't mean to kill the guys. Terrible. And you B, not bad. He's coming too. Roger that. Drops list updated. You know what we can we can do these another time, I tell you. We can do these another time. I think we'll uh, call in the helicopter and take a little break. Support helicopter requested. Well we can call a helicopter in there now. Not bad. Development project has been added. Ooh, we got new. We got new. Oh, I just developed a new thing just there for a new Please weapon, and it just project. gives me the next one for the other one. Oh, it's this one. Did you? Not too bad. I'll research that. Well, I should really research is actually getting some better hands. It gave me ten there and took the rest. Uh, look at my sneaking suit soon, I doubt you. This is Pequod. Arriving shortly at LZ. Oh, I forgot about you being there, Pequod. Do apologize. Kind of just got distracted though. I'm definitely, uh, probably not going to use it too much, unless it's like a mission that I have to kill a lot of people. Then I'll probably have to use the Max 37. So I don't really, you know, need to. I don't think that that many. Hopefully they get my car. They got my car. They didn't get my car. How could they not get my car? What, did they have to send someone out to drive it into the next place I'm going to be arriving at? Probably. Side ops list updated. Uh, combat deployments. Please. We're still on new ones, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully you said enjoyed us. Have a nice CC. Hold the simple. Maybe some more just sneak up the vitamins. Very important. And bye bye. See you next time. Have a nice CC. Bye bye.